Well, Dominic, when you saw the draw and the possibility of a last 16 tie against Novak, they don't come much tougher than that, but you found a way to win against a former two-time champion here. When I saw the draw, I was not, I was not very happy. <laughs> But uh, now, of course, I am. I mean, it's always amazing to beat a player like him. He's uh, one of the greatest of all time. And uh, it doesn't matter in what form he is. always a really tough battle. And I think he is for sure on the rise again. Uh, I think we're going to see him back on the very top soon. And uh, it was a good match. Three sets on clay, long rallies. So um, I'm very pleased with, with the day or with the match. You served for the set didn't take it and now to come from behind. Not many players could pull it off against Novak. You managed it. What was the key? <clears throat> well, I played uh, I played good in the first set and that's what I had in my mind. I played a bad tie-break, of course, but um, in general I was feeling well and that's a big difference. If you if you feel well and you're set down, it's, it's okay to manage uh, also against a player like him, but of course I was break point down I was almost a breakdown in the second set so it could go against me very easily but uh, at the end it's it's close every point every match in this level so at the end I was uh, was the the one who pulled it through and looking ahead Hashinov and Nadal someone you've never played before and someone who's a 10-time champion here thoughts on that yeah, I know Karen very well. Um, I practiced a lot with him, but he has the biggest uh, challenge ever probably ahead of him. So Rafa is the favorite for sure. And uh, we had a really great rivalry on the clay last year. And um, it would be amazing if we could start it, uh, start a new one tomorrow here. But um, I, would be, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be happy if, uh, if, if I play against Karen either. <laughs>